it going, everybody? This is Golden Bolt, and welcome back for more Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Gates to Infinity. In the last episode, we learned a little bit about the Great Glacier as the Mirage came up above Post Town. So, yeah, we learned that that's one of our long-term dreams, especially good old Edgar's here. We've really got to train if we want to get stronger. Let's blast through some more requests today. All right, fine. Sounds good to me, Edgar. Let's go blast through some requests, as you say. Now, um, it looks like the only thing I have left... Let's go ahead and check our materials out. Uh, materials for building facilities. Oh, can I just... I didn't know I could go ahead and do this. I need one more fresh herb for us to build that sunken treasure, and that's all that's standing between us and the sunken treasure. I want the sunken treasure to be built today. Let's freaking find it. What am I looking for again? Fresh herb. Uh, is there anything shorter than four floors? Nope. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's get one more fresh herb and let's do it. Uh, I'll probably go ahead and cut till we find, cut till we finish this thing off because I've done, you know, I've done a lot of um, a lot of side missions like this lately. So why don't we go ahead and I don't really care who's on the team right now, but I'm gonna go out, head out, and I will see you guys when I get back. Oh snap! Attention, we found the outlaw Palpatode. I decided to go ahead and show this because we haven't actually shown an outlaw battle, I don't think yet before. So let's hope that Emolga goes ham on. Wow, that was pretty pathetic, actually. And yes, we defeated Palpatode. The outlaw, the guy who runs one of my stores, is an outlaw. Palpatode, how could you do that? But yes, let's go ahead and exit the dungeon. Finally, get our last material and build the sunken treasure. I want to build that so badly. Ah, finally. I'm really excited to get that build, so let's go ahead and do that! Alright. Quagsire? I'm sorry, I won't be bad anymore. Many thanks for punishing the evildoers. Your reward, hmm. And we get 100 pokey, anything else? Yeah, lustrous metal, but where's my herb? Yeah, fresh herbs sent to the box, and orange berry, very nice. And 20 more paradise points, cool. We are well into silver now, if we weren't before. <clears throat> and sure, let's go ahead and save. This makes me wonder, is something about to happen? I think that means something's about to happen right now. It tends to be like, let's have something happen, have a couple of filler days, and yes, looks like it. Ha ah, ah. ha. Ah, ah. Ha ha. Oh gosh. It's a little a little weird here. Oh. Somebody's spying on Post Town. I don't know if I like this. Uh that's a little weird. And uh oh, another nighttime thing. Uh oh. Another dream! Looks like Gub's having another dream. Is this another dream? Ah, uh, that voice! I think I can hear it. Hear me. Gub, Gub can hear me. I need Gub. <laughs> Don't we all, please, help. I can't. I couldn't catch most of it. What is she trying to tell me? The voice is fading. Wait, I want to hear more. No good. The dream's slipping away. You know, as much as Gub gets really frustrated about not being able to control his dreams, he actually has some fairly lucid ones, as he's, like, able to kind of recognize, like, this is that dream. Like, he notices that he's in a dream. It's a little weird. Morning, Gub. Huh? What's up? You seem kind of out of it this morning. What did I do? Did I oink or something? I don't normally oink. Couldn't you sleep well last night? Excuse me. I guess it's no big, big surprise he's worried. I guess I better just explain the whole mess to Edgar. I guess so. What? So you've been having dreams the past few nights? And in those dreams, you keep hearing that same voice? The same voice that was calling for help when you first came here? Indeed, my Edgar friend. Then, then what does the voice say? It says it wants a little piece of gub. Really, you can't really hear the words. It said it. I know exactly what it says. It wants a little piece of gub. Sorry, gub. But I don't know. Maybe, maybe the Pokemon who wanted your help, gub, is trying to communicate with you using some kind of telepathy or something, huh? What? That's got to be it. Wow, you're... I like how he jumps to that conclusion. He's just like, dude, they're using telepathy. Duh. It's like, oh, yeah, you're probably right. Yeah. But the Pokemon's been, like, broadcasting for help this whole time. Broadcasting. Tune in to PKMN. We need help. Broadcast. I don't freaking know, man. There must have been some problem. So you never even heard it till now. You say you heard more last night than you did the dream before that. So maybe you two are, I don't know, getting in sync or something. Full synchro. Maybe it's Maybe it'll be even clearer next time. I get it. It could be true, but I guess it really is in my dreams. Why was I called to this world? Yes, we're, why are we worrying? We should have been worrying about this, like, immediately. Once you figure out where that Pokemon is, we'll go save her at once. Don't worry. I'll be with you. Okay, Edgar, sounds good, but mostly I want to figure out who was spying on Post Town, unless that was the same Pokemon. And Oh, Pelipper, what's up, man? He's like, hey, man, I'm here to give you stuff. He's like, there's, there's, there's some papers, by. This is a bunch of wanted people. He's like, also, I have to poop. I'll see you later. 
what could this be? He dropped a bunch. He littered. He no. He's not a. He's not a mailman. Pelipper is just like a wanted criminal litterer. He just like goes to our house and he's just like, here's some trash. Mm, it's a notice from Happy. Oh, you love Happy. We all know about that. Apparently, I've been getting reports of a suspicious Pokemon that's been spotted lurking around Post Town. I knew it. We should take caution when traveling and keep our windows and doors locked. Oh crap! Good thing we don't have a door or windows that shut. We have holes in our tree trunk, or that's what they say anyway. Look, we just kind of go in. They've been suspicious Pokemon in Post Town, though. We've gotten into plenty of trouble firsthand because of them. But, maybe, they sent out this kind of notice because they're worried this Pokemon might be even more dangerous than the Ponyard Brothers or the enemy. Oh, oh, not the enemies in dungeons! Not Archen! Nothing can be more dangerous than Archen's criminal syndicate. But anyway, that's a little weird. I have things that I want to build today. I get wait, I guess I should have gone out, but hmm, hello there. Good timing. Can you give this to the signora at the inn? Okay. You mean Swana, right? Mm-hmm. Swana's my wife. And it's some pokey. I'm just gonna take that and run away. You're giving us pokey? This is for my mm, bill yesterday. It What is this about, Quagsire? I went to the inn's restaurant yesterday. Oh, for Oh, I was gonna say he's like, hey, can when you see Swana. To pay this money to her. Tell her she was great. But I was so laid back that I forgot to bring any poke. Hmm? I didn't remember until I'd finished hmm, eating. Far too late. Hmm? So so he just, like, put it on credit? They have credit cards in this world? Why don't I have a credit card? But my old back is really killing me today. Are you old? Got it, Quagsire. We can take it to Swana for you. Actually, this is good timing. We were just about to go check on the town anyway. I was not. You don't know what you're talking about. Uh, I almost called you Nigel. Edgar... I have things that I want to build. So let's go build a thing before I go into Post Town to check out what's going on. I've been trying to save up for a dang sunken treasure my entire life. Pretty much. What's up? There's, there's, oh, uh, what's his name? Wade or whatever. I want to build a facility here. Yes. What facility do you want to build? Sunken treasure, man. That's what I want to build. I wanted to build this for like many episodes. Build it on the pond. I guess it only makes sense. Sunken treasure. It's probably a water-based thing. Yes, boss. Yay! Build me a thing. I've wanted this forever. Yes. Yeah, swat at that pond. Swat at it with your pieces of wood and, and iron girders. What does it look like? Oh, that's amazing. That's amazing. I love it. I want to go in that water. What does this mean, though? I want to know what sunken treasure is. We built your sunken treasure for you. And hello there, Starmie. I once had Mr. Gerda help me with a bit of business, you see. Why is... Is Gerda also, like, using prostitutes or something? I was so glad to hear that he's returned and working... Oh, not like that. It's only Quagsire. He's the only one who uses prostitutes. All right. Cool. Yeah, yeah. We built so many facilities that it looks like we're going to run out of space. We better prepare some new land. Yeah! All right. I feel like I could do some real preparing now. I can prepare a new type of land. What, uh, what kind? What kind of land can I prepare? My clearance skill has gone up. He's like, yeah, my skill went up! <laughs> I think it comes with something new. Yeah, that's right. I can prepare land to be cool creekside now. Yeah, I want a cool creekside. Well, when you want to prepare some land, just get the materials and stop by. Oh, and my skills as a carpenter have gotten a bit better. Okay, golf ball head. Hey, look at that face. He's like, now I'll be able to retrofit the facilities we built already and even upgrade them to something better. Think about it. Okay, now I can upgrade facilities to what? Like a bigger orn field or something? Call me if you need anything else. Maybe you, I need to, you to explain that a little better because I have no idea what the frig you're talking about, but I want to do this. I want to know what this is. Find treasure hidden in the water. Yay, sunk a treasure. Yay, go get treasure. Okay, let's go, shall we? I don't know if this is a good idea for Gub. I'll dive in the water. Please tilt the, okay, 3DSN system and lead me. Okay, so we can get treasure. Especially, let's get black treasure boxes because rare treasure is inside them. I don't know what, so what is this, a mini game? Hold your hand, system, okay, and tilt it to move it around. All right. Tilt mini game. Um, go get it. There's one. Let's, how do you go? Can I move down? Oh snap! Oh snap! What? What's pushing me? Wait, I don't understand. Am I? Oh, it's because I don't have the 3D on. If I had the 3D on, it's probably great. And what are those? Are those thing? Are those rocks bad? They look bad. But let's tilt. Let's tilty tilt down this way. Let's get all the treasure boxes. And there's something down there, but I think it's one. Um, is there a Chin Chow just hanging out down there? No! Hey man, that was messed up. I want this treasure box. What happens when I get down to- oh, okay, so I have two black- Hey man, come on. Hey man, chill. No! No! That's so cruel. How do I- So when does this end? That's what I want to know. Oh, when we get to depth 50? Is that when it ends? Alright, so let's talk while I dive into the ocean as a star me. I'm guessing Chin Chows are bad. 
This is weird. It's it's weird to tilt this with all the things I've got plugged into it. By the way, people, um, the other day I did a, um, I started to use Periscope, which if you don't know, it's Twitter's real fancy live streaming uh, service, and ah, that you do directly, ah, that you do directly off your smartphone. It, that sucked. He took away one. I got like freaking face rolled right there, man. No, dude, get me down. Are there other controls for this? Like, can I push a I can't do anything but tilt. But anyway, yeah, I started using Periscope, and uh, it was cool. And I really enjoyed, like, kind of doing, like, those, those kind of those impromptu live streams. So if you have a Twitter, um, or a Periscope even, you're definitely gonna want to follow me there. Because Okay, so 50 is just the furthest. So what happens now? I got, n I got 11 treasure boxes, and I lost one of the black ones because I got freaking face rolled earlier. Yay, I'm back, HuffPuff. Look at, look at Wade. He's like, hey, that was fun. I got this much treasure. What does it do? Black box, you found a gold ticket. I can spend that. Zinc band. You found unbreakable rock. Inside the red box, you found prize ticket. Red box, you found prize ticket. I found a ton of tickets. Who needs the other thing? I can just find tickets here for free. What rich soil? This is the best that what? Dude, I don't even need to go on missions. I can just go do this all the time. Awesome. No, I don't want to do it against army. I would go turn those in. But I kind of want to fulfill Quagsire's <coughs> mission because I know what he does to people who, you know, make him unhappy. He punishes them with the powers of the underworld. So I'm not going to take any chances. I'm just going to go I'm just going to go into Post Town now just so uh you know, I don't want to have to worry about, you know, getting killed by Quagsire because it's totally possible. It could totally happen, but uh Kecleon isn't there and no one is here. Um is everything okay? This is really concerning. Uh, it's like a ghost town. Oh gosh, did everyone scared off by that notice after all? Where did they all go? They're, they're all in their own houses that don't have doors? Well, let's go check out Swana's Inn. She should still be in the restaurant at least. Why would you think that? What would make you, oh, there's no music here. It's really weird. It's really weird. It's really weird. But why would, what would make you think that Swana's in the inn if everybody else is like gone? God, what we need to do- I know, I was gonna go look and see if everybody else was gone, but I guess apparently you can't. It's just, those two people are gone, so it's a ghost town. Oh, okay, everybody's in here. What's this, from Quagsire, you say? Why is everybody in the inn? This is where they all live? I guess that would make sense. To settle this bill from yesterday- Oh, snap! Quagsire x Swana fanfix, get them started! What's up, guys? It looks like there are still quite a few folks here. That sure is a relief. But where did everybody go? Ducklet's still here. Oh, you were actually worried, were you? Because of that notice about a suspicious Pokemon near Post Town, he's like, she's like, you noobs, you were freaking worried about that. But these things happen quite often. I'm not particularly worried. Yeah? I feel a bit better hearing that, to be honest. Though, don't get me wrong, what I'm about to say isn't just about the notice this time, but the town's Pokemon are feeling quite uneasy about things. Tension is running high between Pokemon and quarrels break out all the time. So it's just, it's just a bad month, I guess. It's just like, it's, you know how animals have different seasons? Like they have mating season and all that? This is Pokemon anger season. August is anger month for Pokemon. Crivens, and all because of the rainbows of hope didn't appear these days. Not the rainbows of who, hope. Ugh, I'll be the first to admit that I and all the good folk here in Post Town, well, we've been finding it a mite hard tire all on day <laughs> Gerd, hurdly, hurdly, or speak language. A a Pokemon all around the world are losing any kind of hope they used to have. Dang, man, that's some deep stuff from Rufflet. I don't know why, but if things keep going this way, I'm gonna have to kill everybody. I feel like, oh god, so Rufflet's just kind of a closet murderer. Something, he, that was like a threat. He's like, something bad's gonna happen. Oak, I, or is it Ach, I? I can, I can what you mean, lad. I fancy all of us here feel the same deep down underneath it all. That's a, that's a no doubt song. Underneath it all. This feeling that something bad's drawn near to us. And that there's no future, happy future ahead. I, every last one of us has the same eerie feeling. Or I must mistake him. Whatever. Maybe he's a pirate. But he, maybe he's not like Scott. He kind of seems like he'd be Scottish. He's like a Scottish terrier. It's like what he's based on. A vague feeling of dread. Yeah. I got that too, man. I woke up in the morning feeling like I was scared. Not P. Diddy. Well, that wasn't very cheery, but we can't just sit around moping either. Let's just do our best, Gub. I wonder what Edgar really thinks about all this talk of doom and gloom. Hurtier and Ruffler just said that all the Pokemon in this world have been feeling it, didn't they? Then maybe Edgar actually feels that way too. Uh, okay, what's the matter? Nothing to look so down about. Edgar's so positive. 
Maybe I'm just overthinking things. No, look at that smile on, on little Gub's face, though. He's really happy about that. All right, that's more like it. Then let's go and give it our all. It's a request again today. All right. Looks like we've got another another filler day, but this is creepy, man. Like, no one... I can't do anything. Like, it's Confag... Or whatever, Cofagrius. No, he's like, he's not even... No one's here, not even the traveling salesman. This is weird, man. Like, no one's here. Like, no... I mean, I understand that's the point, but it's like... Especially creepy. That there's not even, like, anybody walking around, like... No one, like, Post Town has been evacuated, and there's just Gub and Edgar going like, Wee! Post Town! Alright, so I probably need to go sort things, uh, sort some things here. So I'm gonna go and deposit some of this stuff. Um, I don't know what I should be depositing here. Let's reorder it. Um, ooh, let's, okay, so I don't want this zinc bag. Uh, can I... Okay, multi-select. Uh, somebody said to hang on to the reunion cape for very good reasons, because if somebody runs away, uh... Oh, I have a joy seed? Well, maybe I'll hang on to that for now. Uh, uh, good, good. Okay, th these are good. I'll throw, I'll put one of those and I'll put a red key in there. I don't know. But anyway, we've got a lot of items in there and I was basically unable to pick up items for a little while. <coughs> now, uh, instead of go ahead and do the side mission, because I know we have a filler day ahead of us. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and do something cool before we end this episode off. Well, not it's been not really cool, I guess, but mostly I got a really good ticket from that sunken treasure. And I've been wanting to talk to our criminal overlord, Pal uh, Palpatode, here. Are you going to use your prize ticket? Wait, I thought I had... I thought... Wait, 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 wait. Choose one of them. Wait, 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 wait. Didn't I not have a gold ticket? Did I not have a gold ticket? Wait. I thought I had a gold ticket. Maybe I didn't. I don't freaking know, man. Where's my gold ticket? Did I not have one? I guess I'm just crazy or something. Or there's no way to see it or something? Uh, what's random tickets? Which ticket do you want to buy? I want to buy a ticket. I'll do a scratch ticket. Whatever. I'll just do one more of these. No. No, man. All right, fine. Random instant ticket it is. We'll do red this time, and I guess. Why not? Sure. Uh, hope you win a good prize. Please choose one of them. I thought I had one of my tickets. Flaming red. So you picked the red ticket? Is that okay? Yes. Let me see. Wow, you, you lost. Wow, okay, screw off, Palpatode. I didn't, he's just like, yeah, you lost. So maybe this is using um, the prize tickets. I hope you win a good prize. Well, please choose one of them. Let's do red again. It's flaming red, so you picked the red ticket. Is that okay? Yes. Let me see. Wow, you, I lost again? All right, never pick red. Life lesson, never pick red. But anyway, I don't want to sit here like doing the, uh-oh. I'm getting a phone call from Colorado. Do you want to keep playing? No, this is a scam artist. Sorry, Colorado, I don't have time. Why? Who's in Colorado that's calling me? But anyway, guys, that was weird. I was about, you know, oh, I should have picked it up and just like prank answered it. That would have been amazing. But anyway, guys, I'm going to end the episode off here. We've got a filler day that I'm probably going to do off screen because we've done like a million filler days. I'll pick out what I want. Oh, I was going to uh, start building the fire dojo. Or no, I was going to build the other creek thing. So maybe I'll start working on that. But anyway, guys, going to end off the episode here. Thank you very much for joining me on this installment of our adventure from me to you. Have a very nice day, and I will see you guys next time.